Let's now look at 4.2.2, which is a roofing cost estimate. We know that often the cost estimate is just based on the area of a roof. So if we can find the area of a roof, we'll have a good idea of the cost to uh, for the materials at least. So here we go. We're going to access the uh, roof area file. We'll find the roof area, and then we'll see how the roof pitch. That's its slope. That's how steep it is. It can be anywhere from 12 on 12. That means for every uh, 12 inches I move sideways, the roof goes 12 inches up, down to a low uh, pitch roof that might be 2 inches on 12. That's pretty flat. So every 12 inches or that you uh, go across the roof, it only goes up two inches okay and then we'll we'll just um put some stuff in the workbook let's take a look let's open the file and again it's roof area estimator or roof uh estimator i have it in um the instructor drive open it up it's gonna have to take just a moment um, upgrade that's one of the things about Revit it's always doing that and it should um, open up where you can see the roof but we're gonna go to the 3d view okay and there it is there's the roof and it's just a roof and if I click on it it selects the roof and um, this particular one is built with uh, 8 inch wood rafters asphalt shingles insulation there's a lot of information in Revit about that roof, but right now it's just kind of a picture of a roof. And it happens to be what's called a hip roof, where the ends and the sides are angled. Okay, so this is a particular type of roof. So we want to know the area of that roof. So if I click on it and it turns blue, here, here's the roof. Okay, and if I move down a little bit, it gives me the slope. That's a 6 on 12 slope, and the area is shown a little bit lower, 2,414.95. Most people would, would um, maybe round that to the nearest 5, 2,415. Some people round it to the nearest uh 25 so that would be 2425 it depends on what company you're working for but there's the square feet of the roof and that's of that's that's the actual area of the roof it's not the projected area like if i was looking straight down on it and i did an area calculation of width times length it would be different. I'm getting the actual area of this cool shape plus this cool shape plus this cool shape plus this cool shape. Okay, and if I want to change this, I can do that. I can make it maybe a 9 on 12. I just change that. And you can see now it's a steeper roof. You can even grab it and do it. Isn't that, isn't that kind of weird? Okay, but I'll undo those right now. Okay, there we go. And now I'm back to click on my roof again. And I'm back to my 6 on 12. So that's how you change it. You type in a new number right here. Let's look at that 9 on 12. I'll click apply. 2,700 square feet. Let's try um, try five on twelve. Two thousand three hundred and forty square feet. So you can see how this works. And I think my uh, thing that I'm supposed to do is just click on the roof and then look at the properties box and note it and then change it to see what changes as you do that. So here we go. I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to bring it over close to it so that I can see it. 
And now I'm going to take a snip of that. Oops, I want to take a snip along with my roof properties. There we go. And then I might want to use my highlighter to show the slope and the area. And I could even make it really obvious. You can do this here in paint or snip, or you can do it in your um, in your presentation. Okay, so there we go. That is four point two point two roof cost estimates based on area. So of course, we need to know the area.